Hello everyone and welcome back. It's nice to see everyone again. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Gemini for the week of July 18th through to the 24th. And welcome back everyone and thank you. And a special thanks goes out to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. It's growing and I thank you for that. And for those who have given my channel a thumbs up and left a comment, thank you very much as well. That is wonderful. It's nice to know that you're willing to come back every week and listen to your weekly horoscopes. So to you, I thank you very much. All right, Gemini, let's see what's in week in store for you. So the Seven of Swords. So you're having, feeling like you have to defend yourself, your good name, your word. Now, whether this is in a job or a relationship or a family matter. I think you're just kind of tired of it all. You're going to uh, pick up the pieces for yourself and set yourself free. And the two of rods. So, yeah, most definitely looking out over the horizons. You, you know, you have solid ground, good jobs financially sound you know you got the whole world in your hand you're just not sure which way to go with it or which is the best for you now you're looking out over into the horizons and the queen of pentacles so on earth sign taurus virgo capricorn and they're very uh, work orientated they're good with finances uh, the potential, you know, they're very um, practical matters. They're hard workers. They like to know that, you know, the cupboards are full, kids are fed, families fed, bills are paid. You know, and this could be somebody you're either half or a good friend or somebody you know that uh, you're talking to. And the Page of Pentacles. So good news coming in. An offer of some sort. You know, uh, opportunities knocking on your door here. Now that could be in a relationship or a career change. Something that, you know, you've decided that you want to go in a different direction here for yourself. As well. <laughs> and the fool. So, there you go. Stepping off, starting over. Stepping off into well blue yonder. You know, just making sure that you got all your your bills are paid and your files are all in order. Things you want to do with life. I'm just opening the curtains, trying to get a little more light in here. Um, yeah, so you know, just be careful of your footing. Think before you leap. Don't just you know pack your bags and run away. Think about where you're going. And the Ace of Swords. So, again, new beginnings. Um, maybe you're feeling a little stumped at one point and now you're having more clarity on it. You know, or maybe you need to have a heart-to-heart -to, -heart to clear the air with somebody as well. Maybe there's a, a talk long overdue. Now, whether that's you talking to them or maybe they need to talk to you on something something you know you're leaving something maybe important out that needs to be said or they need to say to you so and the queen of rods so fire signs aries leo sagittarius they're very action orientated they're very energetic they like things to grow they like things to prosper um they're just very energetic people. They like to do things a lot. Or this could be um, a, maybe a trip for yourself in the future as well. Maybe that person's uh, your manager. They're sending you to a different location. And the Page of Swords. So, some sort of clarity coming in. Usually he's a storm warning of some sort. You know, some sort of blowout going on. And uh, that might be why you're decisioning to uh, think about taking a leap in a different direction here. Now that could be in a relationship, a friendship, uh, family matters, job, 
but I think you're going to uh, speak your mind. Just try to control your tongue a little bit that you don't go off the deep end. And the Page of Wands. So most definitely, you know, you get in a, a phone call of some sort from somebody. Or this could be an invitation to do uh, travel as well. It could be a long distance travel as well as a phone call or both. Um, maybe you've put in to take a holiday somewhere and, and they've, you know, phone in to let you know that the lodgings that you wanted are clear to go and you're packing your bags, you know, to uh, go on a holiday. All right. And the Nine of Swords. So you're all up in your head about something. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Maybe you've uh, left something out that maybe you needed to say to somebody here. And and now it's all up in your head. Or maybe they've said something to you and it's going over and over and over. So you're losing sleep over something now. So I think maybe you need to talk it over with somebody to get a little more clarity on how to go about maybe perhaps approaching this to... Uh, Finding some sort of finish for yourself. Clearing the air. Yeah. So it's it's never pleasant. Yeah, you seem to have a lot of swords in your cards this week. So lots of clarity going on. Uh, a lot of things needing to be said or being said. But, okay. You know, maybe watch how you say things. Maybe if just being, you know... Um, just locked in your mind for a long time about something and you just weren't sure how to go about it. But it's better to uh, take action on your fears and, and go ahead and do it anyways than, you know, keep torturing yourself here because, I mean, it can be a lot of um, problems for yourself health-wise as well, so you don't want that. All right. Some sort of betrayal. Whether that's you or them, but maybe there's even some infidelity that had gone on. You know, it's uh, your heart broken or you've broken somebody else's heart maybe with this decision that, you know, you said something to them and or they've said something to you. And, and now you're considering moving on with this. Oh, dear. And the Ten of Swords. So, yeah, definitely something is 100% done. You know, it's enough is enough. You've uh, kind of, you know, it's dead, done. You, you know, you beat it to death. There's not, there's no surrendering or saving this now. And like I said, that could be a job as well as a relationship or a friendship. Maybe you both went too far and said too much. And, you know, once... Once you say things, you can't retract them. And all the stories in the world don't ever take it away. So I guess that's why they tell us maybe we should just learn to bite our tongues. <laughs> and the Four of Pentacles. So perhaps it's over money, uh, financial spending. Maybe you're worried about, you know, your finances in the future. Or, you know, uh, perhaps you put a lot of work in and tried to save some money. And you've come to find out that... As much as you want it to save is not there. So now you're feeling trapped, not sure how to go about it. You know, if you cut the strings and, and walk away, where are you going and, and how will you be in the future? And the Knight of Pentacles. So definitely things are moving along. Um, he usually means travel of some sort. Uh, maybe you're just going to take a time out this weekend and go and find yourself something else to do for yourself and be a little bit um, not so much in your head. Think about all that's gone on, you know, all the water underneath this bridge here and try to get a little more understanding on what's happening with you and yourself and your future. But you're quite worried about your finances, um, your relationships. You know, you're not sure which way to go. You're a little bit fearful of, you know, stepping off into the well view yonder here and not have any security. Because once you leave a good, secure, you know, position, whether, like I said, that's your, your job or your relationships, you know, you really are starting over. 
and maybe that's what you need to do here just cut the ties and and uh, start over especially with you know you know all that going on in your life you're not you just you can't there's no recovering from that unfortunately for yourself it's uh it's a no win you don't you don't recoup from 10 swords in the back there that's definitely a betrayal of some sort and the seven of rods so you've definitely had to defend yourself you stood your ground you said your peace I'm thinking this is a relationship for you that has gone on maybe way too long and you're starting to realize that it's now taking a health um, round on you as well and you need to uh, make your decision people are going to judge of course they are and uh, but don't let them it's not their their call so that you uh, can find peace of mind and stability in your own life here all right Gemini I am going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card and see if we can't get some resolution or peace of mind on this week but uh, I think you you already know what you have to do here and you're going to have follow through and you're going to do what you have to do you know against everybody's judgment all right you have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping teaching or parenting children so yeah practice what you preach show them the right road for sure all right, Gemini, I want to thank you again for listening, and I will talk to you again next week. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.